get the new year off to a good start. We've taken the precepts, we've been generous, now it's time to meditate. Focus on your breath, watch the breath coming in, watch the breath going out, get the mind to settle down and be still. Because when we look for merit, when we look for a good beginning to the life, it has to come out of a mind that's well trained. Because the mind, if it's not trained, it can take good things and do all kinds of harm. Whereas a well-trained mind can make even unfortunate situations turn into something good for the mind. So the training of the mind is really important. All of the goodness in the world comes out of this. So try to be mindful to stay with the breath and be alert. When the mind starts to slip away, notice that and then be ardent about bringing it back. You develop these three qualities, mindfulness, alertness, and ardency. That provides the foundation for all the good things you want to accomplish in life. Because whatever the task may be, whether it's training the mind, training your child, doing work at work or at home, you have to be mindful of what needs to be done. You have to be alert to what you're doing. You have to be ardent in doing it well. That's how you create a good life for yourself. That's how the new year becomes a good new year. Everyone's going around wishing everyone a happy new year every this day. Okay, what does it mean to be happy? Well, where does it come from? Happiness comes from your actions. So you want to make sure your actions are good. And where do your actions come from? Your actions come from the mind. So you've got to put the mind in good shape. We try to get the new year off to a good start. Well, let's see if we can keep it good all the way through. We've taken the precepts. See how long you keep the precepts. Can you keep them without break all the way you're through? That's what makes it a good year. Because we talk about being a good new year. And when they draw cartoons about the new year and the old year, the old year is an old man and the new year is a little child. But for us, it's the other way around. We're older now than we were before. Now, for a few of us here, that means that we're growing up and we're getting more and more accomplished and we're getting more and more abilities. So we count the new years as something good, as a, a, as a step forward. But for a lot of us, it's the other way around. Our bodies are going backward. The abilities we used to have, we don't quite have anymore, and they're going to go faster and faster as time goes on. So what do we have to show for our time? our added time that we have here. What can we do to compensate for the fact that the body is deteriorating? Well, we can train the mind, because the mind doesn't have to deteriorate in line with the body. If it's well trained, you can be mindful and alert, even as the body gets old, even as it gets sick. You can even be in charge of the mind as, it, as the body dies, if it's well trained. So if you're looking for happiness this new year, look at into training your mind as much as you can, developing qualities of mindfulness, concentration, and discernment. So the good year stays a good year all the way through, and it's not just a word in people's mouths, but it really will be a happy year because you're creating the causes for happiness. That's where you have to look. It's not from other people's wishes that keep the happiness going. The fact that someone is wishing you a good new year or a happy new year, that feels good, but the real happiness comes when you act in a way that makes it a good year. So it's all, it's all up to you, and the good place to start is with training the mind. <laughs>